Hello everyone, my name is Harsh Angda and today we are going to focus on Azure certifications. Now before to jump in, I'm pretty sure all of you who is following my channel uh, definitely have a question in the mind that why I stopped creating a videos. Uh, there are some reasons guys, so I'll share with you later on uh, what happened and what was going on due to which I was not able to create a videos. Anyhow, let's come back and let's start with the uh, Azure certifications uh, introduction like what are these Azure certification and why you actually need them in today's world and how to do it that is most important and the mo last thing is from where you can get all the content and you can start with the practices I have a question in my mind if I really want to ask you from where you can start all of your Azure certification stuff do you have any answers for me while you are guessing the options let me help you to clarify what our Azure certifications are, why you need them, how to do it, and from where you can start. Let's begin with our very first bullet point, what are Azure certifications? These Azure certifications are actually fit for everybody. It has been introduced as per industry standards. Let's take an example. If you are working as an administrator, Azure certifications are for you. If you are a SQL administrator or DBA administrator, then again, these certifications are for you. If you are in security industry and you are doing and maintaining the security for an organization or for an enterprise, these certifications are fit for you. So actually for all job roles, these certifications has been designed. Microsoft has been divided these certifications into three parts. First, fundamental certifications. Second, associate certifications and third, expert certifications. The fundamental certifications are for those people who actually begin with, just begin with their own uh, journey within Microsoft technology. Associate certifications are for those people who already been working in industry for around two years, approximate. And expert certifications are for those uh, people who has been very much experienced and they have been working for like around five years or more than five years. Now let's go to the Microsoft certifications website to get more details. In this website, you can find out that whatever the job roles you are in, you can choose which certifications right for you. For example, if you are a developer or administrator or solutions architect or even a consultant, you can simply click on these links and to get more details about the certifications available for you. As I mentioned earlier about the fundamentals, associate and expert level certification, you can simply click on these, this link and you can get more certifications available specifically based on beginners, experienced and even more experienced level. So I simply click on the associate level where you can find out many more certifications available which one definitely fit for your job role. And if I go to the expert level, there are very limited certifications available and it is very much straightforward, clarify that what job roles you are in and you want to become. Definitely you can follow uh, the right path and achieve the expert level certifications. If you choose the right certifications and completes, it will give you the workplace recognition. And of course, you will be one of the favorite for HRs for hiring. Now let's go to the next bullet point that why we need them. These Azure certification will definitely give you a deep knowledge about technology. And of course it will help you to gain that knowledge which will allow you to deploy the solutions within on-premises and of course in the cloud. Moreover, the Azure is focused on the cloud level, not on on-premises, but nowadays my, all the organizations are moving uh, their infrastructure from on-premises to cloud. So these certification will help you to migrate all of these resources to the cloud successfully. And as I mentioned, it will definitely help you to increase your productivity because you have definitely the knowledge of on-premises as well as of the cloud after complete these certifications. The job roles you are in currently, it will give you the more focus to complete your day-to-day -day goals and achieve big within the organizations. Now let's go to the next bullet point that how to do it. Yeah, there are many ways to achieve our desired goal. You can learn from many, many different places or many online information available. But the traditional way is to simply read the book and start practicing, which is a very, very good way to learn and gain experience. 
The second option is people would also like to go to the private institutions to learn and gain experience from expert because they can tell directly where is the problem and also it will also help them to learn more troubleshooting as well. The third one to learn about troubleshooting and of course gain more experience in the life scenarios people can build their own infrastructure but yeah it does require a lot of money to build it the people who have money certainly they, they can do that and the last option is the watch online training videos especially from the free platforms like youtube vimeo daily motions etc that is exactly my motto here is to create these videos that you can uh, you guys can learn as much as you can do and complete your certification and of course do best in your job roles let's move forward with the very last bullet point from where we can start the very first option i can think of is don't run after others what they are doing what they are best in just choose your interest and move forward with your goal to become master if you want to become a developer go for it if you have interest in infrastructure building or start implementing the solution go for administrator go for solution architect the same way if you want to guide other people go for consultant but choose the right path the next option is learn and grow from my side there are three important points which always remember when you'll start learning anything new the first thing is understand the technical concept but sometimes people don't know the concept but they start practicing something which is not a right way you need to know the background you need to know the basics and then move move forward with the practices which is exactly the second bullet point the deployment and implementation that is all about the practices and the third one is during the implementation or deployment they definitely you met some issue and you need to troubleshoot that so start developing those troubleshooting skills if you don't know just go online and try to search or perform some research on the forums to gather much more knowledge if you find the solution this is my own experience and suggestion if you find the solution then certainly join online forums and help others to achieve big in your life and of course it will help to grow all together with other uh, members or people in the world for this particular video series my area is administrator so i'm going to help you to uh, share my experience about how you can become a very good solutions architect and how you can start troubleshooting things as well all together so let's begin with our journey and just wait for my next video we will start with the technical stuff till then take care guys have a good day peace